Hi, I'm Joe James. Every month, 50 million people visit Stack Overflow. 50 million. Wow, that's a lot of developers. These are all software developers worldwide. And so every year, Stack Overflow does this fantastic survey of all these developers, and they summarize all the results. And they publish this report that has a fantastic amount of detail and information about what developers, what's their favorite programming language, their favorite operating system, favorite development tools or IDEs, and what they like for lunch. No, okay, I'm just kidding. They don't cover what they like for lunch, but it does have a lot of cool information about developers, and the developer survey was just published today. So I think it's really cool to take a look at the survey just to learn about other developers and where the, what the direction of the industry is. Um, anyway, I'm going to present a few highlights in this video that I think are pretty interesting. And you can read through. I'll put the link in the comments down below so you can click through to that and you can read the whole report if you're interested. 88,615 survey respondents. That's about how many people answer each of these questions. Pretty good number. Developer roles. What roles do these developers who entered the survey work in? Most of them, as you can see, are web developers, either full stack or front end or back end developers. And those are primarily web development roles. You can also see there are a lot of mobile developers, enterprise application developers, uh, and further down you see DevOps near the bottom. Education level. What you should be able to figure out from this chart is you don't need a PhD to be a computer programmer. You really don't. So you can have just a secondary school education and be a programmer, or have some college, and that's fine, or an associate degree. Look, more than a quarter of programmers in the world only have an associate degree or less. So don't feel like you have to get a higher education. You can actually learn a lot online these days. However, it obviously does help to have a bachelor's degree, because I think without that, you're going to have a challenge getting job interviews. Okay, that's the big problem. Uh, but don't feel like you need to have a higher degree. Most popular development environments. Wow, here, actually, what surprises me here is that Visual Studio Code and Visual Studio jump to the very top. Um, I've used Visual Studio Code occasionally, but I'm not a huge fan of it. Notepad++ is my favorite. I'm happy to see that in number three. Um, and a little surprised to see Eclipse this far down. But, yeah, I've used uh, Android, Android Studio, uh, Sublime Text, uh, PyCharm a lot. And the, the chart continues down, so more tools are listed below. Most popular technologies. Look, JavaScript is the number one. Again, a lot of people are using JavaScript. And we showed on one of the earlier slides that web development is one of the most popular fields to work in. So there are definitely a lot of JavaScript developers in the world. Methods of learning programming. Now this is interesting and relevant to me because I just did a video just a couple of weeks ago on what's the best way to learn programming and what different methods people use to learn programming. It basically reconfirms what I presented in my video. You can't just use one method of learning programming. Actually, a lot of people use many of these. So there are a lot of different ways to learn, and you know some of them may work better for you or worse than others, but you should use multiple methods to learn a programming language. You're gonna have an easier time learning if you have a variety of different resources to learn through. This is amazing. Look at this, Elon Musk. So this question asks, who will have the most influence in tech this year? Wow, how cool is that? Elon Musk, the big influencer. That's crazy, man. What are the most loved languages? Rust, gosh, I never used Rust before, but it must be great. Uh, so yeah, Python number two here, that's cool. So most loved frameworks, not the same as programming languages, frameworks. So you can see the top two here are JavaScript frameworks, React and Vue, uh, and then still 60%, pretty strong ratings. Django and Flask, the two um, Python frameworks. So this is an interesting slide. Greatest challenges to productivity. Distracting work environment. Really? You can just put your headphones on. I, that just totally turns out the world for me when I have noise canceling headphones on. Okay, for me, it's this bottom one here, inadequate access to necessary tools. Uh, I always have these problems just getting uh, permissions to access different sites or different tools that we have on the web. So it seems like, yeah, there's, it's, that's always a challenge. And it's not that they block your access, it's just that you always have to figure out who to request access to different tools from. But anyway, there you have it. So hey, I hope this was interesting. If so, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And like I said, you can see the link to this 
down in the comments below if you want to see the whole report. Thanks for watching.